Hey, welcome back. <laughs> it's nice to see you here again. Um, just want to um, remind you guys that uh, I do free personal readings on my Patreon page. And um, only for members. Only for members. Um, I am a... Uh, <clears throat> psychic medium I have special abilities um, I do healing I do uh, I speak to um, spirits and uh, angels and your loved ones and um, uh, I've been doing this for who <laughs> a few years now and uh, uh, I do have a a TikTok um, doing these kind of things um, that's practically practically the first uh, platform I started doing this um, yeah I think I think I've had TikTok for about three years now three or four years I'm not sure um, I have YouTube um, they're fairly new the YouTube is fairly new I only have about uh, 1200 um, subscribers but I'm looking to grow because uh, I'm grateful uh, we all grow from bottom right so just like here i i recently opened the uh, twitch about um a few days ago a few days ago all right how long has been <laughs> has uh twitch been around and i just found out uh a few days ago so i decided to open a Twitch account and uh, to see how far I can make it here all right so if you like my content <laughs> and uh, you want to keep receiving you know notifications every time I upload because I've noticed that when every time I go live uh, when I'm almost done with my live someone jumps in and starts watching so um if you don't want to miss any of my lives <laughs> consider following me that way anytime i go live you'll get the notification that i'm live okay that way you don't miss a thing and you can use the chat to ask me anything you want and uh, I'll try to answer as good as I can <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's funny because I don't I don't go live that long I've been doing um, anything from five minutes to 30 minutes you know it all depends on on the message that I have to uh, deliver I'm the deliverer of messages <laughs> I do like to engage with people I'm very social um, that's why you can catch me on any social media platform as uh, spiritual circles my name is Memo and um, yeah you can ask me anything I'm actually a mentor for other psychic mediums, um, a lot of them on TikTok and uh, Facebook and personal, you know, locally. And I support a lot of um, my colleagues and uh, people who are willing to learn how you know spirituality and mediumship and all these things work i am willing to help you ex you know explain to you 
how all this works a lot of people are very <sighs> skeptical but you know what you got to grow out of it you're going to learn <laughs> that this is real this is no joke um, i see a lot of young ones uh, on tiktok um, giving out readings they're very inexperienced <laughs> but they do have a lot of followers <laughs> Because uh, I don't know what is it that people see in them. I mean, I can see, I can see when they're not real. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I am. I am real. Uh, I can manipulate. I don't know if you've heard uh, of uh, telekinesis. Um, manipulating energy to move things without touching them i can do that um i believe i have a video on youtube showing how i i have this kitty pool and it's full of water and uh you can see me sort of move the water with my energy so not only that but i can heal people with touch um uh <laughs> how did i discover that i can do this oh um i think one day i was at work <laughs> and i was restocking all the en empty slots i was actually filling up the top ones because i uh, the other lady that was doing it she couldn't reach it so she filled she was filling up the bottom part while I was filling up the top and um, I put my hand down just for a second um, I didn't know my hand was a little bit above her head not touching her but uh, you know my hand was close to her head and she can actually feel my energy this lady jumped like I've never seen somebody jump before. <laughs> and she looks at me. She's like, whoa, you could be a healer. <laughs> I go, what happened? She said, I can feel your energy. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, really? You can? I'm like, oh, my God. Is it that noticeable? Um, so <laughs> that's when I found out that I can transfer energy to people and heal them and um i practice i practice with my wife um i put my hand up on her forehead and uh and she falls asleep when she can't sleep like you know she's very hard she was having actually she was having a hard time falling asleep so that day i said okay relax your body okay relax your body and think of nothing close your eyes think of nothing just clear your mind and uh, i placed my hand on her forehead and uh, i focused and uh, she fell asleep <laughs> So, you know, I I practice just like uh, tarot cards. Um, tarot cards is different because uh, the moment I touch the deck, I automatically get the message in my mind. I I know you're you're trying to figure out how I do this, um, but on TikTok, if you go on my TikTok, I have a video of my wife shuffling the cards okay i hand her i handed her the deck of cards and um mind keep in mind i handed her the cards they were in my hands when i touch a deck of cards I know what the message is going to be. So as I hand her 
the cards. I told the viewers what the card was going to be. So I told her to shuffle any way she knows how to do it. So she did a little bit of that. <laughs> you know, you know how when you go, you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, you know. I told her, okay, now take the, the deck and split it in half and put it, put it on the table and split it in half. And uh, she did. I told her to pick a card. But uh, the card that I picked, I actually pulled up the deck and showed you the card <laughs> that I had said before. So there's no gimmicks here. There's no tricks. It's, it's not, you know, it's not fake. I did that on purpose because um, a lot of people on TikTok were were telling me that I was cheating, that I already had the card chosen and things like that. And uh, I had to do this video to show them that this is real. This is not fake. <laughs> I don't cheat. Uh, I don't have um, <clears throat> a reason to. Um, it just comes out of me, you know, um, just like going out. Uh, I'm very selective about going out in public sometimes because, uh, you know, it's very hard to not <laughs> absorb someone else's feelings. Like, I can feel if you have back pain, leg pains, headaches, you know, problems with your heart, uh, whatever it is, I can feel it. And um, it's like it's my own pain, but it's not. So, you know, I'm very selective when I go out. Usually my wife does most of the shopping because she understands um, how hard this can be. <sighs> Even though I've learned to block everyone else's energy from interfering with with mine but uh sometimes it just gets me unexpected and uh i end up feeling you know exactly what others are feeling just like when i do a reading to someone all it takes is a conversation and we are automatically exchanging energies so when that happens um i can feel what you're going through i can feel what has happened what is to come you know i can hear spirits whisp i'm not gonna say whispering uh because sometimes they're pretty loud but uh in my head they don't you can't see them you can't hear them, but I can. <laughs> so it's hard for me to, you know, uh, <laughs> have a normal conversation with someone and having uh, spirits in the background telling me things about their life. You know, I, I try not to because I think that's rude. <laughs> um, I know I've seen other psychic mediums that walk up to people and, and you know and tell them what their loved ones past loved ones want them to hear but um i i i, I couldn't <laughs> i think that's rude i'm a stranger walking up to you and telling you you know uh hi uh your mother your mother's mother <laughs> wanted me to tell you this you you would be like who the hell are you <laughs> you know so um i don't do that kind of stuff but uh i'm very well known locally and uh online uh, most people online know me who i am and um 
and I have developed a clientele. I have uh, normal people who book, you know, on a normal basis uh, every month, some every week. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, it makes me feel good that I know that I'm helping them. And it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, this one in particular, particular that uh, I love her mom. She is a sweetheart. Um, it's like we we are family. I always keep her in my prayers, and her family, her daughter, and her, because they have grown in me. You know, um, these people are amazing people. They have great hearts, and um, their intentions are good. So, uh, I normally don't do that, uh, but um, once I start speaking to people, you know, and knowing what they've been through, um, and uh, it's just, it's hard. It's hard not to uh, care. So, I know I'm, I'm here to do a reading. But, uh, you know, what I'm hearing from spirits and what I'm feeling here, you know, it just touched me. And uh, I think, you know, you're a good person and uh, I'd like to stay in touch, you know, and, and find out how things are going and things like that. You know, it's, it's, it rarely happens, rarely happens. But when it does, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's amazing. And uh, I don't say no to people who come to me looking for help. Because uh, if I can help them, I can. I will. You know, um, I'm a very, very support, supportive person. I, I love helping people. I like uh, doing things for everyone. You know, and they deserve it. Everyone's going through a lot of things right now, um, emotionally and physically. So right now, uh, we can help each other um, by showing support to one another and uh, leaving our differences aside. Ah. Uh, a lot of people are just stubborn and uh, they think they know everything and uh, they think they're better than everyone else, you know, which is not true. Um, everyone is uh, uniquely different and uh, it's that is for a good reason. You know, we're here to learn from each other and uh and help one another in in the things that i'm bad at and you're good at you know you can help me at the things i'm i'm doing bad in and uh i can help you on the things that you're needing help in you know so um i i don't i don't know why is it so hard for people to just get along you know we are all here <laughs> together we're living this life together and uh, we have each other to depend on and no one's better than no one just because someone knows something that you don't know that doesn't make him better that just you know it, it's just <laughs> We we're here to learn from each other, okay? We're not here to to be different or to separate from differences. You know, if you're one color and I'm another, you know, we are not the same. No, no, we are all 
the same. I'm going to tell you that uh, when you die, your spirit are all the same color. <laughs> Genders don't exist. Okay? Because spirits can't have sex. <laughs> spirits are made of energy. Okay? And so are we. We are here in this vessel, but when we leave this vessel behind, we become spirits, full, fully energized energy. So, we're all the same. Okay? There's no difference here. So, I promise you that... Uh, one day, <laughs> after you pass away, everything you have done wrong to others, you will be sorry and you will be asking for forgiveness. Okay? So, while you're still here, alive, in that vessel that you're living in, it is a shell. Okay? Treat people with respect, with kindness. Okay? Treat them how you like to be treated. Because when you pass, <laughs> you're gonna go through a guilt trip that you'll never forget. Okay? I get spirits all the time sobbing that they are truly sorry for what they did to to people and this happens daily can you imagine that this happens daily every time I'm giving someone a reading there's a spirit that comes through asking for forgiveness. You don't want to be that spirit when you die. Okay? So, while you're still here, alive, ask people for forgiveness and treat them with respect. Treat people how you like to be treated because we're not here to separate from each other. We're only here to learn from one another. Okay? Keep that in mind. Because uh, on a daily basis, I have to deliver messages from spirits to people and they're not, they're not happy messages. And it, it breaks my heart to know that, you know, that after you die, you actually, you feel bad for hurting all these people that you hurt while you were, while you were alive. So, Ah, it, it is <laughs> it's tough. I have um, delivered some bad news to people. Not all readings turn out to be good news, okay? <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's hard and it drains your energy when you're doing a reading. Uh, people don't understand that... that um, Communicating with spirits uh, takes a lot of your energy, a lot. So that's why every day after the readings and before the readings, I I meditate and I you know cleanse my space so that I can ha I can be at peace. Okay, um, like I said. People like myself um, 
mediumships. We we feel everything. We feel people's energy. We feel spirits, <laughs> even when we sleep. Um, they keep me up all night. <laughs> It's like having a chatterbox next to you. You know, uh, once they find out that you can communicate with them, they won't leave you alone. They don't. They follow you everywhere, and they're like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so you know, this is <laughs> it's hard to focus on what I have to do when I have this, you know. Um, but yeah, if you don't believe in this kind of stuff, uh, spirituality, mediumship, psychic, you know, um, I think you should try clearing up your mind. Um, stop thinking so much constantly um, try to meditate like quiet your mind and just listen to music and just stay there and uh, you'll see what I mean um, you will start to feel and to hear stuff that you've never felt or heard in your life you know a lot of people think that this is fake because uh, they are too busy with life that they don't have time to relax. This all happens when you are relaxed. Okay? Go for a walk. Go go to the forest. Go go into nature and relax. Take a, a vacation away from the city. Go to a place where it's, it's relaxing. And you will see what I mean. Okay? This. Hold on a second. This is real. This is real. Uh, people don't want to believe that spirits exist. That live. They live among us. And uh, they are real. There's bad spirits. And there are good spirits okay i wouldn't call them bad spirits i call them uh spirits that don't never wanted to leave this world and wanted to stay and they haven't crossed over to the light okay those are the ones that we call entities okay they they tend to um do you have any experience in the astral realm yes i do i have many years experience i am a psychic medium um this all started when i was young i have four i've had four uh near death experience and um each one was different I, <laughs> ever since those things happened to me, um, a lot of things started happening to me. Um, and I be began to see things that I've never seen in my life, you know, and know things. I thought I was crazy when uh, I used to tell people things before they happened and they they actually happened um, and uh, if you if you look at my videos you'll see that I I um, I don't need cards to give you a message I I can tell you the card before it, I even shovel shuffle the deck so that's you know that's how intuitive uh, I am and uh, when I give people readings it just I can feel everything all it takes is just a conversation and uh, from there you are exchanging energy and I can through your energy I can feel everything that has happened in your life and and I start hearing 
spirits talk, talking to me about you, you know, to tell you this, to tell you that. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's overwhelming because they speak fast. And uh, sometimes I have to say, okay, slow down, hold on, repeat that again. <laughs> you know, in my mind, I'm telling them to slow down, repeat that again. And um, they don't speak in sentences. They, they speak in words. They, you have to puzzle, piece everything together. Like um, they'll say bike, bike, dead, this, that, you know. And you have to tell the person, okay, um, did he, was he riding a bike before he died? You know, things like that. And that's because they, spirits communicate with short words but fast you know and um sometimes i just i see i see a, a short clip of things that happen like flashbacks um even even to pe people sorry even to people who are alive this happens to me i can see what they did before before i met them and uh you know it's it's creepy yes um that's why i protect myself from, from absorbing people's energy when i go out because uh i don't want to you know be overwhelmed with things that they've been through and sometimes you feel you you feel pain and you think it's yours but it's not yours it's it's pain from the person you were thinking about or someone close to you or someone you just talked to you know someone you interacted with so if you feel like oh back pain all of a sudden out of nowhere this isn't is isn't your pain it's someone else's it's just letting you know your spirits are letting you know that this person has problems with their back um i had a <laughs> one of my clients um she was very skeptical <laughs> so she booked a reading with me she's like oh i've never believed in this kind of stuff but i you know i'm gonna book a reading to see what it's like you know and uh she told me from the beginning i don't believe in this kind of stuff you know um so i said okay remember all it takes is a conversation back and forth and i can already feel everything you know and hear everything so so we started the reading okay i asked her what did you want to know and um she started started talking in the middle conversation i stopped her and i said hold on hold on um how's your mom doing first of all um is she okay uh, she had back and leg leg problems uh tingling in her toes she's like ah, how'd you know that i said is she okay <laughs> and i explained to her you know what what was causing all these pains she was in the wrong medication um, she was taking the wrong medication and some medication were expired so um, she took her mom to the doctor and I was right the doctor discontinued that medication and because it was wrongly you know um, prescribed to her um, and uh, after that she became better and ever since that day this person became my weekly booker <laughs> uh, she books every week sometimes twice you know but uh, and we've gone grown close to each other because of you know her mom's situation and all the things that have been happening uh it's just <laughs> uh, her mom is <a> sweetheart <laughs> so and uh, she calls me her son but uh, she's uh, she lives in a different country <laughs> 
So, you know, for me to know these things that are happening, you know, it's, it, pe to, to most people, this would be like impossible. How you know that, you know, but, uh, there's no distance in the spirit world. Okay. It's like having that person right next to you because you have spirits next to you talking to you about them and telling them what they need to do to fix you know the situation so um sometimes this is how most psychics um receive messages is through the mind um, when you learn to keep your mind clear try not to think about nothing whatever message or whatever thought pops into your head it's a message and there's always a sign right after that or before it okay like ringing in the ears before you get the thought or after okay that's them spirits letting you know here we're telling you this and confirmation is the ringing the ear and you'll know automatically that that thought you have in your head in your mind is not yours it's a message that's why we need to keep your eyes open all the time because there is signs there's repeating numbers music through music if you listen if you're listening to the radio and you hear a specific song that catches your attention and that song comes on and on no matter where you are if you're in the car and that con that song comes on and then you go to your office and that song comes on the radio and that same song comes on on the tv that's a sign okay <laughs> just like repeating numbers like uh 222 12 12 11 11 you know seven even a number seven that you see constantly everywhere you go is a sign always look it up and see what it means okay but always, what do I do with signs? Well, you, you Google it. For people that don't have experience, there's a lot of information on, on uh, signs and spiritual messages and angel numbers. And it tells you in specific what, you know, each number mean. Like I was just doing a reading uh, a few hours ago and this lady, she was getting seven, seven. Everywhere she looked, there was a seven. Her date of birth is seven. The time was seven o'clock and you know, it, those are signs. And then she looked it up and it's, it's letting her know that she is growing spiritually and that her guiding angels have been there all along helping her out so you know you have to pay attention <laughs> to everything like you have to forget about the real world that's what we call it the the real world is you know going to the gym going to parties drinking you know all these things that you do on going to the mall you know buying new phones buying a computer we have to leave that behind and start enjoying start living like when none of that existed pretend you don't have a phone okay don't use it as much you you're gonna learn to not watch tv anymore <laughs> you're gonna get tired of watching tv because it just once you're awakened those things don't matter anymore it's just uh 
everything's boring. To me, I don't watch TV. We have like three TVs in our house. We don't watch TV. <laughs> um, we have phones. They're always charging. They're always like in their station. Um, so, you know, you, you find those things boring. And that's when you, you know you have awakened. Because you, you, find, you find it better to be in nature to be doing the simplest things in life like looking at the stars that that makes you happy going for walks you know going into nature into the lake the beach far away from you know getting away from the noise from from the city the city life and uh that's when you start growing that's when you start developing your own your gifts they come to you you don't have to do anything all you have to do is relax and keep your mind clear and and don't worry about anything this this is something i keep telling everyone and including my wife i tell her look when you have worry in your mind when you worry about something so much you actually attract it whatever is your on your mind constantly becomes real you you attract the fear the fear the worries the problems you think about so keep your mind clear at all time and always stay positive and you'll see that when you stay positive positive things start happening in your life i'm telling you i've lived it i'm here and nothing like my wife she's proof she she can see how how i have changed from from being a normal person to a positive person I don't let nothing bother me, nothing. And people that come to me with problems, I don't engage because once you engage, you start giving that person interest in what they're saying. They come to you, oh, I had a problem with this person, blah, 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 blah. And you start listening. They're actually draining your energy just by listening you start thinking and believing what that person is telling you that you start feeling like that person and you go home with this negative energy that your body collected from that person <laughs> and you feel worn down you feel tired and you don't and you wonder why why do I feel tired all of a sudden? <laughs> That's because that person sucked all the energy out of you. <laughs> so be careful. Don't try to keep negative people out of your life. Even if it's a family member, just say hi and bye. You don't have to be, you know, hugging or kissing them or, or with them every day. You can say hi and bye. That's all. And you'll see how your life starts changing once you keep negative people out of it. Surround yourself. I always tell people to surround yourself with people that like to do the things you like to do, that have the same interests, because that, that, energizes you and you know what happens that the more people that do the same thing together the stronger you guys are the stronger your gifts become and if you don't believe me try it try surrounding yourself with people who like art if you like art or like music if you like music you know playing instruments and you'll see the change in your life.
things become positive and you become more at peace because you're actually fitting in with the group that you were meant to be with so that's why a lot of indian tribes they are always together because together they're stronger their beliefs system works and they are happy that way and um a lot of cultural thing you know a lot of cult cultural people they 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 do it too they they unite together um based on the things they do and uh and you you're gonna you're gonna see it you you can see it even in movies you know um like the asian culture um the monks um they they live in peace because they are they're not fighting <laughs> they don't have differences why because they all do the same things they they all believe in the same things that's how we are supposed to be living but instead the world is fighting about differences racism religion this religion is better than that one uh these people are better than those the rich and the poor you know we're not here for that we weren't put in this world to to separate by our differences we are put in this world to learn from each other's differences okay and uh, that's what people don't understand you're welcome <laughs> sorry I, j i just read what you wrote um, but it's true and i live by that rule every day and nothing nothing bothers me and everything uh, let's say everybody who has tried to cause me harm have failed they have failed whether it is through courts <laughs> because the universe takes care of you when you are at peace the universe says nope this guy's mine nothing is going to harm this guy because i'm protect him so you have your guardian angels and your you know your past loved ones they look out for you they know that you mean no harm and that you're living in peace and they don't allow others to come disrupt your peace so be confident in your life in your choices every everything you do do it with good intentions don't do it to harm people do it to help people and you will see that you will get help back not only that but things are going to start working in your favor you will see you will see i i i am a changed person because i've seen it all and and i think i was put here to give people advice on how to live like me and um and I, i'm happy to do it i i enjoy it i enjoy it my my wife says uh wow you got a good heart you know and you don't let nothing bother you how how can you lift hey people's problems are not mine <laughs> right so you don't have to stress about someone else's problem that's their problem <laughs> you live your life the way you want to and be happy doing it who cares what people say that because there's going to be a lot of people telling you hey you're not going to succeed you know or you know trying to bring you down 
or or bring negativity into your life but psh, be confident and do what you want to do live how you want to live who cares what your mother your brother your cousin your friend or anyone else says everyone has their own life to live so let them live their life and you live yours okay <laughs> be happy doing what you love and it will show and you know what when it shows that you are happy you actually attract people that want that happiness that you have so you will attract positivity when you live a positive life okay i'm telling you i <laughs> i'm living this right now and this is the way i chose to live and ever since I chose to live this way. Ooh. All the drama's gone. Where are they? <laughs> so I am I'm happy living this way and and my wife is learning to live this way too because she also has family members who you know who put her down and I tell her look look what they say doesn't matter. They're not living in your shoes. This is your life. So let them say whatever they want to say. Live how you want to live. Okay? We weren't born with instructions. So there's no wrong way of living. We're here to enjoy our lives and learn from each other. That's all. That's all. We're not supposed to ca cause any harm to anyone because you your karma will be coming back to you <laughs> keep that in mind it always comes back and it comes back when you least expect it <laughs> so be careful what you do <laughs> don't do anything bad to to other people because your karma will come when you are most confident that you are good <laughs> and it hurts and it gets you really bad so i learned that the hard way <laughs> when i was young i i was stubborn and uh i was a little pain in the butt but uh i grew from that And I realized I did some thinking back. Holy crap. Like, I'm not here by mistake. Like, this is this wasn't a miracle. This was on purpose. All all the things, the near uh, death experience that I went through were to teach me a lesson. And uh When you think back of all the bad things that have happened to you and all the good things that made you come back, it wasn't a coincidence. There's no coincidences. This is the universe making you be on the shoes of those people that you have hurt. And they're... They're letting you know that they're not going to give you any more chances. So, I think fourth, I got lucky. Because you know how they say the third time's a charm? I got a fourth chance at life. And uh, I, I was, that fourth time made me realize that I needed to change. <laughs> And I did. And ever since I changed, good things started happening in my life. And I started receiving abilities that I never knew that I had. Like, like knowing things, uh, healing people, um, 
communicating with spirits. I, I swear, the first time I heard a spirit, I was laying in bed, and um, it was, it was my brother's wife that she passed away. We were so close, me and her. Um, she passed away months before the cookout that we were we had planned for her to come over to my house for a cookout and uh, she can use my swimming pool you know and we all gathered together and um, that night I went to bed and out of nowhere I heard her voice just like a, if she was right next to me alive and uh, and I said to myself this can't be right you know I heard her voice inside my head I didn't hear it through my ear I heard it here and and I said what the hell what, what was that Iris is this you and she said of course it's me who, stupid who do you think is it is <laughs> and I'm like this is not happening this is not happening and she's like it is happening so wake up <laughs> so you know that's the first time i've ever heard a spirit talk to me like that and ever since that day i kept hearing other spirits once they find out that you can hear them they all come because they try to communicate with other people, but since other people have their minds full of thoughts and worries and troubles, they can hear the spirits. But when you become calm, when you keep your mind clear from thinking, when you're relaxed, that's when you can hear spirits talk. And if you don't believe me, try it. Spirits know who to go to. Um, try it. Try it. Try relaxing your body. Even if it's meditation, put some headphones on and, and listen to some meditation music. And try not to think about nothing just concentrate on the music <laughs> and then tell me what happens all right because it, it happens differently to everyone but it happens <laughs> you're gonna freak out okay and uh and at the same time you're gonna want more so you're gonna start continuing to meditate and listening to music and keeping your mind clear and the more interest you put into it, <laughs> the more gifts that you get, the more you'll grow spiritually and you will, you're not only going to hear spirits, you're going to feel them, you, you, might, you might even see them because I've seen them once in a blue and they want you to see them. They want you to hear them. But since your mind is always full of worry, full of, you know, problems or, or things you need to do, or that's why you can't hear them. So they always look for someone like me that has constant, clear mind to speak to, to deliver the message. So... I'm telling you right now, if you don't believe in this, take my word for it and try meditating, listening to music, focus on the music and try not to think about anything. There's no limit. You can you can meditate for an hour, for two hours. Don't stop meditating until you start receiving and you're going to come back to me and say, holy crap, you were right. <laughs> because that's how I started. And uh, and you're going to want more. You're going to want to know to talk to your, your loved ones. 
and uh, you're gonna want to to learn more and they'll teach you they're actually teach you how to do things so it's totally up to you you have to be optimistic open-minded don't never say never never say that's impossible or that's a lie or that's because it's gonna happen to you <laughs> and uh, you're gonna come back and say you were right okay so um thank you for watching <laughs> i will come back tomorrow i'll be here i'll be on and off all day so i'll be i'll do a live i'll i'll go do errands i'll do another live i'll I'll do more errands and then finally at night at this time you know I'll be doing the final live which is longer and um, and answering any questions you guys have for me you know if you have any questions I'll be here tomorrow to answer them okay so don't forget follow follow me please and um, if you want go to my YouTube and there's more things there and on my TikTok too. <laughs> on my TikTok, I have about 95,000 followers and, um, and it's still growing. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to be here and listening to my experience and my advice to you so that you can grow also spiritually and have your own gifts and help others because that's what we're here for. We're here to teach people how to grow spiritually so they can help us help everyone else, you know, awaken and open their eyes, okay? Thank you so much, all right? Bye now.